Well, in fact, temperatures have been more or less constant since 1998. That's 17 years. At the same time, greenhouse gases have been increasing rapidly. So this stark divergence between very level temperatures and very steep increase in greenhouse gases suggests there's something wrong. Greenhouse gases couldn't be the main explanation for global warming. Now, temperatures were pretty flat from 1945 to 1970, but then we started developing chlorofluorocarbon gases that were used in spray cans. You know, spray cans, by 1970, you could get a spray can for hairspray, for paint, for grease, uh, for anything you wanted. Well, it turned out these gases had caused a problem because in 1974, scientists discovered that these gases, once up high in the atmosphere where it's very cold, they come apart and chlorine comes out. And just one, molecule, one atom of chlorine can destroy 100,000 molecules of ozone. So this led to ozone depletion up in the ozone layer. By 1984, scientists found this huge hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica. And they got very worried and they worked together with, with politicians with the United Nations. And they came up with the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. It turned out by getting the Montreal Protocol agreed to by all nations, that limited the amount of CFCs that could be produced. And by 1993, the increase in CFCs had decreased. The increase by 1995 in ozone depletion began to decrease. And the increase in temperature uh, by 1998 became flat. So thanks to the Montreal Protocol, that global warming stopped.